She says, tell me a little bit about what you do. She's who? No. Who, who are you? What do you do? <laughs> so she says, okay, who are you? What do you do? Hi, my name is Steven Raisner. Spell it. R A I S N E R. And my company name is Potent, P O T E N T, Ponix, P O N I C S. And I work with aquaponics. Aquaponics is using fish and fish waste to provide nutrients for plants to grow. This allows us to use a lot less water and a lot less nutrients than traditional farming methods. How does it work with low water? How do you use the fish farm? So we use significantly less water by recirculating all of the water from the fish tanks. So none of the water goes into the soil and into the ground where it's not available again for the plants. This also helps in extremely hot environments because the plants have a lot more water available. So for places like deserts or island nations where they have a lot of heat with not a lot of water, it can be a great way to grow both vegetables and medicine plant, medicinal plants. What filter do you use? We use a separate, uh, called a radial flow separator or a, a slow pass through filter that allows the weight, the fish waste to, the heavy fish waste to settle to the bottom as the water flows through the chamber where it can be then separated and vacuumed off the bottom, put into a separate tank and turned into a compost tea of sorts to unlock the nutrients from that fish waste in a similar manner to what happens in soil with animal compost. Hydrogen and f the fish m waste? Oh, so for pH and the fish waste. So, uh, fish castings. Using worm castings, she says in there, or is it just fish waste, fish water? Or oh. is there other elements to it? Or, yeah, the, how they're similar. Yes. Okay, so, so uh, she was asking how fish waste is similar to terrestrial uh, creature waste. Um, so uh, in the soil, you have the terrestrial or soil food web. In aquaponics, we use the uh, aquatic or water food web. Uh, and this allows us to unlock those nutrients the same way that they would happen in soil, just using different species of microbes. Do you have to add anything to it, to the, the water for the fish or for the plants, or is, is it a, a good standalone media so so you do have to add iron uh, and adjust the pH with things like calcium or potassium just to maintain stability but you you don't have to add very much she says something I would love to try uh, that methodology one day <clears throat> yeah it can, it's a great 
It's a great gardening method and provides a lot of uh, different options and much faster plant growth. Plants can grow almost twice as fast using aquaponics. She says saves a lot. saving water is a big thing. Yep, very important. A lot of water to feed plants. And she says it, it can be exhausting. Could you imagine everybody just using up all the natural resources of water? She says, I mean, that's the way a future, if it stands the way it is. Absolutely. That's why we need to work together, us soil organic growers and us aquaponic growers. And, uh, you know, we're all on the same team of, of less water and more sustainability. Keep it simple. Absolutely. Look to nature. Look to nature. Well, thank you so much. Thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it. I appreciate it. If you had to come up with a, a body language for hydroponics, what would you imagine in your head? What would you paint that picture like? Like almost like water plant. Maybe a fish swimming into whatever water. Can you do? Can you do? Like his because you have it's it's a water solution with the nutrients. So you have the or maybe nutrient water plant. Or is that too much like to watering the... That's just a picture that you're trying to play. Because you, you want to incorporate the fish. The fish is a very important aspect to it. And growth. Or plant. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like the fish is just... <laughs> Exploding fish.